Fertilizer on farm fields doesn't all stay there. A lot of it is washed into streams, bays, and the ocean, causing algae growth, blocking sunlight, and stealing oxygen from aquatic creatures. Can science provide a solution? Here at the Salk Institute, researchers believe they have found a way to make farm plants less dependent on fertilizer. The key is an activating molecule found in plants that creates a symbiotic bond between plants and a soil fungus. The fungus becomes embedded in the plant's roots and delivers soil nutrients to the plant in exchange for carbon that the plant pulls out of the air. Plant biologist Lena Mueller says they have learned to synthesize the molecule and give plants more of it by adding it to the soil where it's absorbed into the roots. And we found that this molecule, when we apply it, for example, um, it amplifies the symbiosis. So roots become a lot more colonized by the fungus when that molecule is added. Plant roots derive nutrients from the soil all by themselves, of course, but the fungus, called arbuscular mycorrhizal, does it a lot better. Mueller and her SOC research team have done their experiments with a legume that's similar to a soybean plant. This is our little legume that we work with, and it looks very sad here because we don't give it a lot of nutrients because we want it to interact with a fungus. Once that interaction takes place, the plant becomes a lot less sad. They found their leaves contain 200 percent more of the nutrient phosphate. <laughs> Mueller says 80% of plants can perform this interaction with fungus that boosts plant nutrition. These include corn, wheat, rice, and soybeans. The question is whether the engine that drives that interaction, the molecule she identified, could be increased in those varieties of crops. We could test if our already existing varieties that have been bred for yield, if they would be uh, susceptible or if, they, if that molecule will work on them. And that would be really exciting. Could fungal symbiosis actually eliminate the need for fertilizer? Mueller says probably not, but just reducing fertilizer use would be a strong step in the right direction. Thomas Fudge, KPBS News.